So starting with the, I think that was the first one, right? Your cut, we should be looking for trades up until 25th, which is the previous week's Monday. So starting from your cut down to your Aussie right here. Uh, let's see some of the interesting setups. Eurocat, the first thing that we're going to notice is that indicators are strongly supporting the bullish idea here. I'm talking about the higher time frames specifically. Right? Only the one hour chart in terms of momentum uh, is bearish. Anything else that we can see is positive and suggesting continuation up. The one thing I personally don't love about this situation is the double wave. This double wave is a bit more, you know, without a clear structure right here during the pullback, even though this is still acceptable, it could have been slightly better. In terms of uh, cycles and waves, if you're counting, we can start looking at this thing, right? So the expectation here would be to see breakout above and the price to jump up. That would be the idea. And basically the logic behind this thing. So um, this is where the buy was executed. That could be double wave, of course, or that could be seen as push. And then the price trying to break above the zone kind of step trading situation, right? It doesn't matter how you look at it. Uh, in this case, unfortunately, it would be a losing one. Next, we have cable. And for cable, we are looking for sales. One hour chart and 15 minutes supporting the bearish structure. Here, the, the sentiment is a bit mixed, right? Because the four hour chart is still pushing up. Uh, in terms of moment, one hour chart is pushing up. But in any case, we have two out of three for both of them. And the predominant color here, ever since the price started pushing lower from here on, right? Assuming that this is a pullback or whatever it was previous trend, micro trend, this is 15 minute chart. We can see that the predominant color here is red. So on the deeper pullback points, we can see some um, blue candles, SLS candles, but Besides that, we're looking at bearish momentum. Next, four hour chart, previous candle, and the one afterwards, closed bearish. One hour chart is speaking for itself. 15 minutes, we're looking for pullback in order to go ahead and sell. In this case, it couldn't really spike through that zone to the upside, but given the deviation, this is more or less enough when it comes to uh, double waves if you want to be selling with a breakout. Now, during the breakout, you're most likely not going to get this candle red. So, unless the previous candle was already red, you're technically speaking not allowed to sell based on the rules. Not yet, right? Now, the law was also broken and this is where the candle closed. So, this was attacked almost immediately in order not to uh, miss the momentum. And this is basically the idea behind this sell, first target, second portion of the trade closed in a break even once the price started moving back to the upside. Dollar N, I'm not a huge fan of this one as well, and I'm going to tell you why. Simply because if we start counting here, uh, we might find reasons for a deeper pullback. Okay? Only based on the count, that could be a bit suspicious. Now, besides that, it looks absolutely fantastic. Why? Because we can see fantastic momentum up. We can see what's happening on the indicators, right? Uh, and basically, we're checking the higher time frames for bullish momentum. So far, so good. Then we need to check the levels. And in this case, we got this consolidation right here, which was broken, rejected, and now the price is retesting this zone. And you can see what's happening specifically about this spike. Price is spiking and then we're looking for possible continuation to the upside. Now during this push down and this clearance zone, it managed to create the ABC, which is fantastic. We got the breakout. We're looking for um, 
continuation to the upside. Okay. So the only thing here to pay attention to probably would be um, the count. But again, in this case, if you would be waiting for something like this, you would be missing on this opportunity. So as you can see, even in our team, we know and uh, do pretty much the same thing. Yet when you go back to the chart or even live sometimes, uh, we have disagreements. I'm looking at this thing in, in one way and you're looking at this thing in a completely, well, not maybe not completely different way, but slightly different way. The outcome of that is yes position or no position. I'm holding or I'm not holding, right? So uh, the idea is not to go ahead and copy because you will never be able to copy someone else. Not me, not Vlad, not Buffett, not anyone else, right? There is always something which you're going to be missing when it comes to this. But if you grasp, grasp on the um, main idea, the theory, and you start practicing, this is the time and place where you start understanding the things through your prism, and then you start following your own plan using that knowledge. Okay? So, uh, this is a very good example about these things let me see what else Aussie N, this is push down double wave up breakout continuation this is a pretty classical example euro pound broke again i'm not thrilled about this abc it is valid i'm just not thrilled about it um here the zone the zone is again fantastic look at it this is the previous zone we broke, we're now giving the pullback, testing this thing, breaking below the low of ABC, the middle point of ABC, and breaking also the trend line. Bearish, 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 bearish. Only here we have one green arrow. That's it. So, looks <laughs> absolutely amazing, right? And then you attack it and you end up with a loss, but uh, that's the point of having stops, that's the point of having these levels, because once the price is not agreeing with your analysis, you want to be cutting, no need to, to argue with the market, the market is going to do whatever it's going to do. Alright, so I guess uh, this is more or less the last one, Euro Aussie broke these two highs within basically two candles, right? The, this tells us something. Again, first of all, start with the price action, guys. We're breaking trend lines, we're bre breaking here the highs, pull back in terms of two waves. Okay, this is where we also got the breakout. It's holding now. The, this entry was a bit late, but still totally valid. Um, in reality, we're just missing one, two pips here, three pips, I don't know, but it's not that much. And yeah, that's that's pretty much the idea. One thing I don't agree here on is the stop loss. I'm not sure why the stop loss was placed below uh, the red candle instead of this one. And if you want to be more conservative, you can actually be using the previous wing, which is right here. So that will give you first, second zone. And in case we see something like that, um, you will be able to sustain right the trade instead of cutting it and that's about um, SRS Pro now when it comes to SRS2 you can just click right here we have the two tabs this is SRS trendrider.network.com go to performance and there you have these two buttons and you can switch in between the two strategies so here the action started on the 25th with pound kiwi which started pushing lower um, during that phase here right let's make this thing blue so it started pushing lower clearing that zone right here and this is the time and the place where aggressive entry appeared in terms of a setup so after the ABC and the push down, uh, we want to be attacking and here we can see a pretty decent level also, right? 
So if the price manages to gain the momentum after this one, we are likely going for a ride next to these levels approximately. Okay, this is what I see in terms of, of a zone here. Of course, we have the inner one, which would be slightly lower where the target is, starting even from here. Okay, so um, as we can see, it, it managed to gain the momentum almost immediately, pushed up and reached the zone. Then we have some crypto action, a sell in Ripple. Okay. Um, basically, it started going to the upside, right? This is where we have a clearance zone. This is where we got the cycle. And on the last part, we're looking for a breakout in order to continue down. This unfortunately turned into a loss. Then we have Ethereum, which was for buys coming after this ABC right here breakout and continuation and this a larger wave could be seen as um, ABC on its own so on the higher time frames you might have another opportunity here for trade and so on and so forth so I don't want to make this video too long guys if you have any questions on the remaining of the setups make sure to ping um, to comment below this video or ping us in telegram and we will be happy to assist you to understand why and what was traded there. So that would be all for this week's SRS performance. Thumbs up on the video if you liked it. And I'll see you in the next videos. Bye for now.